Good morning. Sorry about the light. It's about 9.15. Today I've got a really busy day of doing lots of bits and bobs and I wanted to bring you along and show you what a day in the life of Rochelle. Now things are starting to pick up and go a bit back to normal. I've got a phone call at 10, so in about 45 minutes, with this research company that's working with Mind. Currently I'm working with Mind. I'm volunteering with Mind during lockdown, etc. I started in July. Basically, I'm getting involved with their Stop Suicide campaign currently, which I was a part of the filming for. We talked about male suicide and we talked about stigma. And I will link you up when that is out because I'm very passionate about mental health. If you take a scroll through my channel, there is a lot of elements of mental health throughout everywhere. I also edited some of the footage for the final piece. So I'm super excited about that because that was really fun. I think the campaign launches this week, so I will link up everything in Thursday's video, I'm pretty sure. I'll let you know, on my Instagram, but follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna pop it up there. If you follow me there, that's where I'm most active. Every day I'm popping up something else, so that's the best place to probably follow me on. Ew. Gross, that's not a good backdrop. I'm a massive fan of granola and outpro yogurt, chia seeds, fruit, honey. Mmm. Just really good to start off the day with, you know? And chia seeds fill me up because they swell, you know? I get tired over for the rest of the day, so it's mmm. I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm obsessed with doing that. The first thing I wanted to update you on before I on the phone call is I started watching Ozark yesterday and absolutely love 10 out of 10. Good recommendation, Ellie. Thanks for that. It's very, like, numb. It's like a numb stretching out kind of like suspense. I really love it. It's very dark. I was watching it. The editor in me was like, oh, this looks like they've color graded. They have. They've color graded. Sorry, this has got nothing to do with the video, but I basically I'm trying to learn color grading on Final Cut just to improve my videos. And most programs do that and I just like obviously noticed it in Ozark because it's very obvious. And I want to do after this, shall do the Fenty Skin Review. I'm just waiting for my phone call now. Then I jump on that and then get through that and do that. Then I'm going to have a shower. I don't know what I'm going to wear. So I've got today's sort of put together look. This cow jumper actually that I wore when I went to see Beyonce and Jay-Z on the run too. That's the last time I wore it. Um, and I don't think I washed it because I wanted to keep the scent of the concert. And I'm wearing this t-shirt underneath and I've got these Adidas joggers. And my neck sliders. Oops, sorry. Why does it focus everywhere else that is not my face? So, as many of you know, Fenty Skin was launched at the end of July, which is Rihanna's skincare line. I'd heard good things and bad things. The majority of the bad things were about the fragrance and the witch hazel in some of the products. The general consensus around the cleanser, this is the cleanser, then how well you can see it, can you see it? It's a really gorgeous colour. I did a proper full review on my Instagram. Sorry, shameless plug again. I wanted to give this one a try because I didn't want to buy the whole lot and then it broke me out. And funnily enough, it broke me out. I love, 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 love the product. You can, like I said, go on my Instagram. I've done like a little story highlight where you can watch my review of it, a week review in. Love the scent, the packaging. I love the twist nozzle function. Like you twist it and then squeeze, so it stops like gunk build up. You don't need a lot of it. Like you use a pea sized drop and it will lather up to quite a large extent. The fragrance, I knew it would be an issue for me because my skin is very sensitive. As I predicted, I broke out, which I'm not happy about because my skin's got really horrible you can't really see because i'm seeing a bit far away but close up my skin is horrid i've basically broken out there's quite a lot here some starting to come down here um and some a lot coming here there's a massive like red spot there coming i'm not gonna go too in because it's making me very self-conscious got a serum on right now i've got the ordinary nice in mode on so that's where it looks glossy and like shined over if the fragrance wasn't in there there would be no complaints. If she were to release a fragrance free line of this and the other products, I would buy it in a heartbeat because I do love everything else about it. It's not an offensive fragrance. Like the fragrance, the smell itself is quite nice, but fragrance in general in skincare is not good. Other than the breaking out with the fragrance, I would buy again. I just whacked myself in the face with that. I yeah, my skin was doing a lot better than this prior. just been editing a video the one where i talk about how travel on the cheap basically it went up monday for you so if you haven't seen it already go check it out because i spill i wanted to make sure 
that I gave a lot of information but as concise and consumable as possible because obviously if you watch the video you know that I found it difficult to find all this information in the, in the first instance when I was looking at traveling so I wanted to make it easy for people to access and find all my tips and tricks with cheap travel in one chunk chunky video. I have now got my lunch, got halloumi, some pretzels, swirls, salad, hummus and that's it. I wanted to have poached egg on toast with avocado. However, we have no toast. Wait, we have no bread. Oh hey, it's been a long time. No, it hasn't. I've literally just been watching Lovecraft Country again. I'm not doing anything. Obviously, looking for work, trying to find work, trying to get a job, but obviously Miss Rona had other plans. My day is basically consist of me sitting and watching TV, to be honest. So I've been doing that. I'm gonna go on a exercise full stop. I'm gonna go on a walk because it looks like it's gonna rain. And then I'm actually going to the cinema later to see Tenet. And I'm very, very excited because I'm very excited to see the film, first and foremost. Second of all, I'm excited to go to the cinema because I don't think I've been to the cinema this year. I'm excited to see, I'm a bit nervous. Not nervous, but I'm excited to see what it's like with social distancing and how cinemas look during a pandemic, basically. Because obviously, in my lifetime, I've never seen a cinema in a pandemic. That's it. That's one of the reasons I wanted to vlog today, because we were going to the cinema. Yeah, I'll bring you along, but I'm going to go on my walk now before it rains. And then come back and make dinner for later. So, come on, let's go on a run. Because if I have to go, you're coming with me. I'm not even being dramatic when I tell you that this colour combination... <laughs> of black. Matching gym stuff makes me motivated to go and actually exercise because black is very slimming for starters and second of all I just like looking put together and it gives me motivation because I feel good. I feel good and I look good. Like I feel confident in myself <laughs> more so than normal and it just gives me that extra motivation to actually just get up my fat ass up and go. Fun fact, I started doing the Chloe Ting workout last week. I did three days. Died deleted all the footage. <laughs> Am I gonna freeze to death? Most probably. Do I look good? Better than normal. Update. It's cold. If you can't tell, I don't like exercise. I don't like moving. So I'm back from the cinema now and if you couldn't tell I tried to put in a bit where I was shaking a cup I had a Tango Ice Blast. I had my first Tango Ice Blast of this year. I am pretty sure I don't think I went to the cinema here all year. But that was a very very exciting time for me. 10 out of 10 experience I wore my mask most of the time inside when I wasn't eating like in the cinema staff were spot-on like they were cleaning everything the toilets were super super clean really weird as you can see from the video that I put in, very strange. It felt very, very surreal. You walked in and there was like a guy there and he was like explaining the procedures and everything. You can only go a certain way. Like one kiosk was open and it was dead. There was no one in the car park. There was no one inside. There was thing about 10 people in our cinema. Hand sanitizing stations were at every screen entrance and every like doorway or like the front off like front area the um, kiosk to buy like snacks and things. Yeah, you can order your snacks online in advance and then pick them up. So I guess that's to help reduce contact. And also certain toilets are blocked off and like certain sinks are blocked off and yeah, but cleaning standards were very, very high and stuff were really spot on with that. How exciting was it to see trailers again the bit at the beginning of the film when it's like coming soon and you see the trailers and i have missed that i have missed that so much like next year everything is coming out next year next year i'm gonna be in the cinema every single day but the film was very very visually pleasing it was very visually beautiful story wise i think the story was quite good but I've got to emphasize this with a very, very strong but. When you go and see a film, you kind of have an idea of what it's going to be about. I did with this film, but when I watched the film, I was like, maybe I've read the wrong plot. Have I read the wrong plot? Have I watched the wrong trailers? Because I did not understand anything that was happening, and I think that was the point of the film. I took a few like moral messages and current political statements away from some of the stuff that was in there. You know how we feel about that. But it was very mind-boggling, mind-bending. It wasn't as mind-bending as Inception. If you don't know, this film is directed by Christopher Nolan. And it was very, like I said, 
visually stunning visually beautiful a little cinematography geek in me and film fan and video editor is just screaming with excitement yes yeah, just a very odd film like i didn't understand what was happening but i think you're not meant to right at the beginning one of us says don't think about it too much and basically that is the summary of oh my god what did i go and see tenet i'm gonna wrap this video up here i hope this was enjoyable i wanted to give you like a vlog where i show you how life is starting to pick back up and what i'm doing now that i'm not staring at my wall 24 7 even though i think i am 27 if you have enjoyed it you know the drill please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe my instagram and my other social media the link down below i'll see you i'll see you i'll see you in monday's vlog monday's vlog monday's video whatever it shall be probably travel related like previous Monday's one. Till then, take care, stay safe, go watch Tenet. Go to your cinema because cinema experiences in lockdown are weird. Bye.